Hello there, today I'll be making a video about local. So this will basically teach you what local does in Racket. So if you've been uh, ever worked with uh, Java, C Sharp, C++ before, you probably heard of the term local. Local refers to the scope of the variable or function, or method in, that, in the case of Java, C Sharp, whatever. Uh, pretty much it gives you the ability to store a constant or a uh, method within your uh, function and uh, you cannot access this uh, function outside of it. So I provide a very simple example, a useless example here, with sum. So we take our typical sum function, so you can have like sum two, three, and it adds it up. Now, what this function does is it actually uses a local and we define a constant called the answer in here, which is the plus of x and y. I also define another useless content here, and then here I have answer which just outputs the constant I declared. Now, notice how the local functions all have access to the parameter passed here. So pretty much what this allows us to do is we can define constants with an operation, and this can actually make some functions more efficient. By declaring a constant, you might not have to recompute something when you compare it, for example. So let's say, for example, you want to calculate the largest value in a list. When you calculate the largest value in a list, what you could do is you just simply take the max of it each time and you simply return, when you iterate through, you take the max of the current item and then the result from the rest of the item and so on and so forth and you build up the list. So let's take an example of define max val list of numbers and if you're not familiar with lists, I recommend you watch my video on lists. But so we have very simple conditions. So if list of number is zero, empty rest list of number, then we simply return um, the uh, first of list of number, empty list of number, return the first of first of number, else. max of first list of number and max val let's give this a test run and see what happens so this seems to be working so what we're doing is we're taking the maximum of the first value and then the, what the value of the rest of this is and then we build it up slowly. Now another way we could have done this is um, you actually check to see if the first element is greater than this without using the max function. So if we don't want to use the max function, so we're going to impose a restriction, is greater first is the first item greater than the max value of the rest of the list and in that case the answer is the first value else and now we recompute this entire value like that okay so let's uh, test this one out so if we have max val of one two then oops We have that. Now, we have a little problem with this. And the issue with this code is, uh, in fact, when we have max val, we're actually calculating max val here in this conditional, and then we recompute it over here. So if this is true, we call max val all of the recursion. And if it is true, then we actually call it again. And that's inefficient. Because ideally, we want to only calculate this once. So if I have a really, really big list, I'm not sure if my computer is slow. We see it takes an incredibly long time. So let's actually try to improve this code using local. So let's first do a max val2 and uh, let's check to see with max how much faster it is. So we can just do max of first list of number. I should have saved. Uh, my list from before. Ah. Make a really big list. I should just define a constant called big list. 
So we see here it's really fast. So define big list and don't need brackets around this. Okay. So here we have a big list. And now we can do max val2 of big list, which is fast. Now we have max val of big list, which is also reasonably fast. So let's make this bigger. max val2 of big list and this might be slow see we see it's slow same with the other one logically because it's similar code now let's try to make a new and improved version so we could use an accumulative solution or in this case we're going to use local so we define local here, and let's make an answer called um, max rest. And what this does is it is it calculates the size of max value max value three of rest list of numbers. Okay, so we have this over here. Now inside here, now we're going to simply do cond greater first list of numbers max rest and first list of numbers else max rest hopefully this runs ah shoot too many brackets hopefully this runs on first try okay so let's give a little test here Expects a non empty list. Okay. I do not add this conditional, which is pretty essential. Expects. Okay. So, what we can do here is we can actually do a cond inside here. And we can do a con saying empty empty um, rest list of numbers and in that case you return first list of numbers else and we return all that Now we have that. Okay. So now let's give this a shot. And we get the max value. So let's give this a shot with um, big list. And it solved it really fast. So the advantage of this is instead of having to deal with um, recalculating the list every single time that we see over here when we recalculate the list max here and max here for each as a single execution we execute it two times and you do two times this and two times on this entire list multiply by two times in this entire list multiply by two times in this entire list multiply by two times in this entire list and you have something that becomes exponential because in each one you call two times again now the advantage of local is you can actually minimize this by declaring a variable with the result of that and you can mm, sort of memoize the result and you don't have to recompute it each time. So it's like here we can do functions in here and we can also do constants inside the local. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was useful, you guys learned something and thanks for 